So I've just got to this nice swamp. And I spotted this little boar bedded down in the shade. He looks like he's not going to go too far. I'll see if I can get him for a shot. But the wind is reasonable at the moment, but it's wafting around a bit. So we'll see how we go. This swamp was showing some uh, great potential and it uh, wasn't long before I came across another bedded boar but unfortunately the wind was just was just too erratic. So before I got too hot and I wasted too much time I decided to jump in the car and go ahead for an, a creek that wasn't too far away and maybe hit, hit another swamp up down there. Just managed to get the drop on this really good ball. It's really hot, 10.30 now. It's actually the hottest day in the last 12 that I've been here. He was just having a bit of a wallow here and I come up on the high country and it was a bit of a bit of a funny shot through some small bushes, but anyway, did the job. It's been a really dry creek, this one. Two k's, no water. I have a swamp marked up on my left here that there's a 50-50 chance it could be dry. The last, yesterday, I did six swamps fire were dry uh, so it's tough going yesterday zero pigs on the ground they, the wind and the cattle were just not with me so yesterday was a tough day today is a good start I'll be happy if I don't get any more pigs today this one's an old boy's old and but he's got some really good hooks and that's what we're up here for so now I'm going to cut across to this swamp and uh, we'll see what we can do there's that really good boar just got the drop on and he made it like three meters died right there in the water I'm gonna drag him out so he doesn't pollute the water for the other animals Epic fail on this boar. I managed to uh, shoot the rock just in front of it. So uh, he just bolted off and then in, in my hurry to see where he went, I didn't notice there was another pig in the cave. So that was uh, epic fail number two for the morning. But that's okay, I'll just uh, keep on going. So I spotted this boar in the cave about 50 meters away, but I've had to cut across the hot sand and make my way along the, the rocky face of the opposite side of the creek. He's not in a very good position, but it looks like a good boar. I'm just creeping along this hot sand and hot rock face, and hopefully I can get to 20 meters for a shot.
So this must be one of the fattest Cape York boars I've ever shot. I can't move him out of this hole. He's just a body with a small head. So I just finished lunch and I was contemplating whether I should walk up here to what we call the caves. It's only 500 meters. I thought, oh, it's still hot, very hot. I'm very tired. So I did the walk and from 40 meters down there, I could see this black shadow. So I cut across into the hot sand. I had to keep my shoes on because you cannot walk on this sand, even with your socks on. I tried this morning, it, it just couldn't do it. So I snuck in along the, the edge of this rock. I use it because he's facing the wrong way, of course. And I snuck in the 20 meters. It was really hard to define the sort of vital areas. I could see his ears, I could see his front. So I picked a spot, just nailed him, just drilled him right in the, right in the boiler room. He only, he was literally right there in that little cave and he landed here, I can't move him. He doesn't have a bad set of hooks either, which is quite odd for big fat boars in Cape York. But they're having a, a good season this year. The boars are really healthy. So quite happy I decided to have my little afternoon walk. And uh, that's the second ball down for the day and I'll take his jaws out and we'll go from there.